This is Peter Drury and I'm happy to inform you that Jim Beglin has joined me to offer his expertise. Well, thanks, Peter. There's a great sense of anticipation in this stadium and I've been hit by it too. I've made a major appointment here. What's your take on it? Yeah, I think once we saw the lineups, this was fairly predictable. Of all the grand stadia in world football, none more impressive than this. The crowd wait to offer them a red-hot welcome. So the two starting lineups. So that's got things on the way. Mohamed Salah. Looking to get within range. Modric. Hazard. Thiago, Marco Asensio, now it's Bale, are very keen on the aerial route. Look, if you're good at it and instructed to carry on doing it, then you find a way of making it work, and they are. Ah, oh, that's a super piece of goalkeeping. Thiago, that's pretty clear, it is a foul. Timely intervention. Carvajal. Tries to hold on to it, but he's not having it easy. And he's escaped his man. Served up with plenty of swerve. Well, they won't be pleased it's taken so long to get their first attempt on goal. They'll need to improve on that. Firmino. He's taking on the lot of them. Oh, the keeper's equal to it. Marcelo. Modric. And he's been judged offside. Look, Peter, this just needs a little fine-tuning, and obviously fast. He scores level just five minutes before half-time. He's got the ball, he's got the space. Oh, he really got hold of that. Well, that was worth the effort, but it could have gone anywhere. And that'll be the final action of the first half. Well, there's been absolutely nothing for either set of supporters to cheer about as yet. Let's hope there'll be some sort of magic after the restart. Nil-nil the score, and we're just about done. A deeply frustrating game.
Already up and running for the second half. So deadlock still as the second half begins. Not a good throw at all, really. He's given away possession cheaply. Carvajal. Marco Asensio. Tony Kroos. Modric. Marco Asensio. And here comes the corner. Hoisted towards the area. And he's spooned it over the bar. Well, he didn't really get hold of that one. It was a weak effort in the end. He's on a charge, but he's on his own for now. It is a corner. In comes the cross. Well, it was a chance, but meat and drink for the keeper. Matip. Glenn Johnson. Isco. Into the last quarter of an hour. Glenn Johnson, Kebayos, Modric, now surely, oh he'll be annoyed with himself for not getting there, I think he catches it really well but there's no accuracy in that, absolutely. Vanchak. And he's escaped his man. Keeper's ball. Alexander Arnold. He's left his man. Straight at the keeper. Isco. That's it, we're going to get 30 minutes more. Well, despite the scoreline, this one hasn't felt like a nil-nil to me. It's really ebbed and flowed and thoroughly enjoyable. So a real test of both endurance and character for both sets of players now as we enter extra time. Isco, Kebayos, Femir, intercepts the throw, that's well read, looks up and has a go, denied by a great piece of goalkeeping, he's done very well to get to that. Swung over into the middle. Cuts it out impeccably. Storari. He's kept it out. Another corner. Any better luck this time round.
In comes the cross. And he couldn't keep it down. Well, he showed great desire to get his head to that, Peter, and the crowd certainly approved. Just listen. Matip. Now surely. Oh, the keepers had to be at his best. That was a wicked hit. The referee has ended the first half of extra time with the scores still level. Still no breakthrough for either team and the players on both sides running out of steam here. Well, I think for both sets of players now, fatigue becomes your biggest opponent. You know, when the body gets tired, the mind usually goes with it. Concentration levels are difficult to manage now. We're off. Only a quarter of an hour remaining. And it all comes down to determination and to grit and to who wants the win more. Are we finally going to see the deadlock broken on what's been an incredibly frustrating occasion? He's got away with one there. He's on great form today and he's willing to try anything. That was a brilliant strike. Matip. Henderson. And back to base. Caballos. Savage. Isco. The referee has ended the second half of extra time with the scores level. So many tired legs out there. But who will hold their nerve now and handle the pressure of the penalty shootout? Well, 120 minutes of football and we st The pressure of the penalty shootout, a real test of nerve here, not only for the goalkeepers, but for the takers as well, of course. And the great pressure, he bangs it past the keeper. And he's there to make a great save. I think the keeper's done really Really well to save that, he deserves a pat on the back from his teammates. Terrific penalty! With the team two goals down, he knows he has to score to keep them in the into the right side. Straight down the middle. He really needs to put this away. If he misses, it's almost certain they'll crash. That was outstanding. A natural leader showing plenty of composure. The skipper stands up to the challenge. No problem for the keeper. Well, that was right down the keeper's throat. It was an easy save to make in the end. Oh, no, he's missed it. Well, the keeper won that mental battle, and the strikers put that well wide. Will go through if he scores. He scored. The game is over. That's decided the game. With neither side giving an inch in regulation time, it had to be settled with penalties. The only way left to get a result, however unfair it may seem. Well, they held their nerve in the end, and that was the difference between the two teams. I think the manager will be absolutely delighted with that performance. Well, that's it from us. Many thanks go to Jim Beglin and goodbye from us.